everyone i hope you all are doing great in this video we will study the gross features of midbrain this is the model of brain stem and midbrain is the most superior part in the brain stem it is also the shortest part of the brain stem it connects the pons and cerebellum with the forebrain this is the anterior aspect of brain stem and this is the portion of midbrain in the middle we have a large fossa known as interpeduncular fossa on lateral side of interpeduncular fossa we have nerve bundles known as cross cerebri these are the part of cerebral peduncle um, which connects the midbrain with cerebrum on the floor of interpeduncular fossa we have posterior perforating substance Post posterior cerebral artery pierces the floor of interpeduncular fossa then we have oculomotor nerve emerge from the medial side of cross cerebri this is the oculomotor nerve Optic tract is also closely associated with the anterior surface of midbrain. This is optic tract and then this is optic chasm and this is optic nerve. On the superior surface of floor of interpeduncular fossa, these protuberances known as mammillary bodies. These two are mammillary bodies and this is pituitary gland. This, this is the posterior aspect of midbrain. Cochlear, cochlear nerve emerges from the groove between the midbrain and pons. On the posterior surface, four tubercles are present, two superior and two inferior, divided by vertical and transverse ridges. Superior tubercles are known as left and right superior colliculi and they are associated with visual pathway. Inferior ones are known as inferior colliculi and they are associated with auditory pathway. So on the posterior aspect, we can see left and right superior colliculi, left and right inferior colliculi and cochlear nerve. This is all about the gross features of midbrain.